How to reduce the redness of sunburn. A bad sunburn can be painful, irritating, and tough to get rid of quickly. We've looked into it for you, and the very best thing you can do to diminish the intense redness is to take actions to properly heal and conceal your skin. After this, ease your discomfort with medication, cool temperatures, and other remedies. Prevent yourself from burning next time by protecting your skin with sunscreen and protective clothing, and by practicing awareness. Healing and concealing sunburns. Drink a lot of water. Try to drink at least 10 full glasses of water each day for a week after your sunburn. This will help your body to rehydrate which will, in turn, aid in the healing process. Drinking water while you are out in the sun will also help you to avoid heat stroke and other heat-related medical conditions. At the same time, make sure to avoid consuming any alcohol during your recovery period. This will only dehydrate you and dry out your skin even more. At the same time, make sure to avoid consuming any alcohol during your recovery period. This will only dehydrate you and dry out your skin even more. Apply aloe vera. This is the traditional go-to remedy when dealing with a burn. The gel of the aloe vera plant has natural anti-inflammatory properties and can speed up the healing process if applied correctly. You can buy a store brand aloe, but it is best to use the gel directly from a plant when possible. To remove the gel from a plant, break off a single full stem. Cut the stem open lengthwise. Open the stem and scrape out the gel using a spoon or your finger. Apply the gel to your skin between two to three times a day. For extra relief, you can also fill up an ice cube tray with aloe vera and freeze it, making aloe cubes that you can rub on your burn. Wrap the cubes in a light hand towel before touching them to your skin. You can also apply aloe gel to your face in an overnight mask. To remove the gel from a plant, break off a single full stem. Cut the stem open lengthwise. Open the stem and scrape out the gel using a spoon or your finger. Apply the gel to your skin between two to three times a day. For extra relief, you can also fill up an ice cube tray with aloe vera and freeze it, making aloe cubes that you can rub on your burn. Wrap the cubes in a light hand towel before touching them to your skin. You can also apply aloe gel to your face in an overnight mask. Create a baking soda paste. Get out a small bowl and mix equal parts baking soda and cornstarch. Add cool water until it reaches a thick enough consistency to apply to your skin. Both of these primary ingredients may take some of the redness out the burned areas. Rinse the paste and reapply as needed to soothe your skin. Use witch hazel. You can use the leaves and bark of the witch hazel plant for medicinal purposes. The tannins contained in witch hazel may help to repel bacteria and promote healing. Look for a vial of witch hazel extract at your local natural food store. Use a cotton ball to apply the extract to your skin. Apply apple cider vinegar to the area. You can fill up a bottle and spray the vinegar directly on your skin for relief. Or, you can soak cotton balls in vinegar and place them on your skin. Vinegar is a known anti-inflammatory, so it may speed up the healing process. Be aware that some people react badly to apple cider vinegar. It is a good idea to apply a small amount on the back of your hand, via a cotton ball, before putting it all over your body. This will allow you to watch your body's reaction on a small scale to make sure you will be okay. Be aware that some people react badly to apple cider vinegar. It is a good idea to apply a small amount on the back of your hand, via a cotton ball, before putting it all over your body. This will allow you to watch your body's reaction on a small scale to make sure you will be okay. Apply potato slices to the area. Many natural healers swear that potatoes can reduce pain and inflammation. Get a few potatoes and use a knife to cut them into thin slices. Then, place these slices on the burnt areas of your skin. Rotate the slices until you feel some relief. You can also dice or shred a potato and place it into a blender. Blend for a few pulses and then apply the resulting paste being careful to include the potato juices onto your skin. Make sure to carefully wash the potatoes before slicing or dicing. You can also dice or shred a potato and place it into a blender. Blend for a few pulses and then apply the resulting paste being careful to include the potato juices onto your skin. Make sure to carefully wash the potatoes before slicing or dicing.
Apply live cultured yogurt. This one is a bit of a long shot but, if nothing else, the cool temperature of the yogurt may soothe your skin. Get out a cup of plain, probiotic yogurt and apply a light coating to your burned skin using a cotton ball. Let the yogurt sit on your skin for around 5 minutes before wiping off with a clean damp towel. Wear loose and dark clothing. Light, cotton garments that fall away from the skin are your best options during your recovery period. These items will let your skin breathe, preventing stagnation and lessening the possibility of infection. Stick to darker colors as they will draw less attention to your skin. Avoid whites and neon colors as they will create contrast with the redness, making it more noticeable. Use makeup to cover the redness. Apply a green tinted primer to the burned areas to counterbalance the appearance of redness. Don't apply blush as it will only increase the red look. Use a light hand with makeup, however, as you can run the risk of skin irritation.